Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Cotton B, and today I'll be making milkshakes because everybody's at home and summer it's summertime, so so milkshakes are a good thing to make. Um, I'll be making four milkshakes today, and for the next couple of videos, I'll also be making milkshakes. The basic ingredients for a one glass milkshake are one scoop of ice cream to two scoops of ice cream, depending on how thick you want it. I like it one scoop of ice cream, and one half cup of milk, one tablespoon of sugar, two milk cubes, which is milk in an ice cube tray, frozen, and whatever you want for that sm smoothier milkshake. First, I'll be doing the berry glass milkshake. A berry glass milkshake, you're gonna need five to six strawberries, 10 blackberries, and about one fourth cup of blueberries, plus the standard ingredients, and put a little bit more sugar because berries are a little sour. All the berries. The half cup milk. One to two scoops of ice cream. Sugar. And for the milk cubes, you need to keep it out for three to four minutes because it's a little hard to take out. Then use a fork to push down and pull it out. Now grind it in this food processor or grinder for about a minute. It's pretty thick, like a milkshake consistency. So this consistency. And I'll pour it and put it aside. <coughs> and this is a small glass. There's a little bit left, but in a normal sized glass, it'll just be for one person. Now I can put this aside and start working on the date smoothie. I'm working on the date milkshake now, and I know it sounds a little bit weird. Even I was a little skeptical at first, but I can assure you that it tastes really good, and you're gonna need 10 dates for this, and no sugar because dates are already sweet enough. I'm done with the date smoothies, and you need to grind it 30 seconds more than the other ones because the dates don't grind very well. And I'll show a nice trick and a yummy trick to decorate your smoothies for the next ones, but it doesn't fit very well with the dates one because it's really sweet. Third smoothie is the grape smoothie, which sounds a little bit weird too, but it's tasty like the dates. And you can add a little bit of cardamom to this to add flavor. I didn't like it, but my brother did. Just depends on what your taste is. So it's about one and a half baby handfuls of grapes or just one bunch of it. And the standard ingredients. This time it does have sugar. to see it but it does look cool last but definitely not my least favorite smoothie is chocolate slash nutella smoothie and this is just a nifty trick in case you don't want to waste all the nutella that's on the edges of your uh, bowl thingy first add the milk into the nutella bowl once you're done with it then mix it really well and the chocolate will get mixed in sugar for this one because chocolate is sugary you know this chocolate milkshake's a little bit more liquidy than other milkshakes because it doesn't have a solid like a fruit but it's a resourceful trick 
so the resourcefulness pays off. And I'm just gonna decorate it like I do the other ones. Delicious. Now I can taste all of them. It's all four smoothies, Berry Blast, Dates, Grapes with Caramel, and Chocolate with Caramel and Chocolate Syrup. And now I'll decorate it with some whipped cream and taste it. I put reusable plastic straws in them to save the turtles. And the setup just looks so delicious. I'm gonna take take a sip of each of them. And first, my favorite. Mmm, tastes like one of the restaurants. Sweet. That's it for today. Stay tuned to watch more milkshake videos and like and subscribe if you like them.